seven principles for being a strong Christian. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Okay? Let's go there. Verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or the tricks of the devil. Amen. And once again, the mainstay of our battle is battling against tricks. Amen. Tricks. Okay? For we, verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Last week I was telling you about these spirits, area spirits, principalities, powers. Amen. Against the rulers of the darkness of the world. That is, uh, you are light, take the unbelievers are darkness. And they are rulers that rule them. That is why parents will, will, a man will drop you, a man, a man will drop you at 2 a.m. A man will drop you in the house at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and your mother will not say anything. She will open the door, and you'll come, and she'll be waiting for you, and you'll come in. A man, a man with a pot belly, a man with an air-conditioned car, will drop you at home at 3 a.m. And your mother will open the door and she will not say anything. But when you go to church and you come at 11 o'clock, it's as though you went to hell and you come back and they'll be complaining. It is because an evil spirit is ruling the darkness and opposing Christianity and opposing spirituality. It it happened in my time and it's must be happening in your time. Sometimes the parents even encourage you to have a boyfriend because you bring those money home or whatever benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you, if, if, if the minister of lakes and rivers or the deputy minister was to come with his land cruiser to drop you in the house, and be picking you every day. They are sending a cast. Or one of the footballers was to send was to send his Land Rover sports version of uh, uh, Discovery with a driver Range Rover to come and pick you. One of these footballers, Ghana Black Star footballers, was to be picking you. Your mother wouldn't mind whether your virginity is lost or whether you are being injected with all kinds of sparogyra and other diseases. What a shock. Is it true or is it not true? I say it's one of those footballers. Footballers! Sit down, sit down. Do you know the footballers, those people who play for Black Stars? If one of them, something as someone, something Kojo, something this, something this, something that, was to be dropping you in his Range Rover. Tell me the truth. Stand up and tell me the truth. Is it true? Dear Bishop, it's so true. Baby Jet coming to pick me. Yes! 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 Baby Jet, what's that? Baby Jack is picking you. Sit down, sit down. 
And they will bring, give a hamper for you to give to your mother. Your mother will gladly sacrifice her daughter. Or, or, or let's, let's, let's say the black stars are playing a friendly match with uh, um, Brazil. And they are playing in London. Yes, and you are not married. You are 19 years old, 20 years old. And one of those black stars, or even somebody who is on the bench. Jonas, he's not even playing. He's on the bench. He sends a cast that they should bring you to London. Your mother and your father, you'll be surprised. They will help you to pack. They will help you to pack. And send you away to go and fornicate with that footballer. Sit down. Why are you standing? Sit down. One day, a certain church member, a beautiful girl, yeah, such a Range Rover was picking her and dropping her. Yeah. Somebody who is a Christian, but a footballer is picking her. Taking her to Germany, go this, play here, play there, and you have to go to the hotel. Meanwhile, the the footballers are not supposed to have sex while they are playing. So they are all hidden and then they are brought into the rooms. And you are born again Christian speaking in tongues. Do you see? And it's just like this. And the person already has a child here, has a child and has a wife already. But you see, that's the one home and away. The one, one wife home and one away. <laughs> And one for the road. And your mother doesn't mind if you are the one for the road. Oh. That is why I speak about evil spirits. Yeah. And that is why you must be careful about money. Okay. And spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Stands there. And, and that you may be able to withstand in the evil days. So, and having done all to stand. So, the way you can be strong to withstand the devil is to take on the whole armor of God. So, the seven principles for becoming strong are the same seven pieces of the armor that you have to take. And you have to take all. Otherwise, you will not be strong. That is why... The, uh, in the olden days, okay, they had an armor over the head everywhere, metal. I don't, have you seen one before? Where did you see it? Now, I have seen one live. I was, once where I, was, I was taken once to a hotel, to stay in a hotel. When I got to the hotel, it, it did not look like a hotel because the hotel was a castle. Yeah, it was an old castle. And they took me to a room. They said, when I got, they said, this is your room. Because it was a, the, either the king or I don't know who was in that castle. I don't know, not every, uh, even junior people had castles in those days. I don't think it was a king, but some kind of a king. And there in the room uh, was one of these armor. Put on the whole armor of God type of armor. And the man was standing there, covered from head to toe, metal. And you can't even see whether there is somebody in it. So when I lay down on the bed, and I, I look across the room, I said, ah! Who is this man standing in the room? So I told the people who brought me, I said, I don't like this room again. I don't feel happy in the room. I feel that there is somebody with me. Because there's 
something, if when you put on the whole arm, you can't see anything. Why? Because in those days, any kind of... Look, if you like, cut just a small part of your, your finger. You know, take a knife, see how they peel oranges. Just peel here and see whether it will not pain you. So there is no place which is painless in the fight. So they are using knives. So anywhere they get, if they can get here, 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 they, because just the smallest scratch like this, you see that your, your body is paining you. If you like this, even when you go, just remove and see whether you can sleep. You cannot sleep again. 